Hi, I'm Stu, and this week, I'm living in a shopping mall. So this is my kitchen, and this is my office, and this is where I can come watch movies. But they're all in Spanish, so I don't think I'll be watching any. But I can still order the popcorn. And this is my actual room. Let me take you inside. I'm here at the Fiesta Inn at Plaza Las Americas, overlooking downtown Cancun. I stayed in a Fiesta Inn in Playa del Carmen during the hurricanes in October, and it was great because it didn't lose power and it had good Wi-Fi. So when I decided to come up and explore downtown Cancun, I thought this was a great spot to stay in for a week. All right, it's 7.30 in the morning right now, and the mall doesn't technically open until 10 or 11, something like that. But Google Maps did say that McDonald's was open at 6, which it's not. Ironic sign saying that they're open. Um, so I guess it's Starbucks for coffee. In Cafe Americano Grande con leche y azúcar, por favor. So I don't really love Starbucks breakfast because there isn't many options there. Uh, but I do think McDonald's opens at 8 a.m. I see some activity in there, so I'm gonna wait here and then try to grab McDonald's for breakfast since that's the only other place open right now. So a lot of the breakfast options seem to be similar as what you get in the US, except they have a McBurrito, which obviously I had to get. It's a little smaller than I was expecting. It was actually pretty good. And I think it was like on the dollar menu. All right, so I can't believe this. I actually thought all the Radio Shacks were out of business. And this is super convenient that there's one here in the mall because I need something pretty bad and I'm gonna go get it. Brand new hard drive. So there's a few other things that I think I can get here at Shidrawi. I don't think I pronounced that right, but it looks like a big department store and some other stuff, so we're gonna go check it out. First up, toothpaste. The St. Tomas is a Mexican blend, I've had it before. Around 370 pesos, so maybe 18 bucks. We're gonna grab a bottle of this. Well, the problem with getting the wine is now I need a wine opener, and I can't find one, so we'll see what happens. Since we couldn't find a corkscrew to open the wine, I have to go with the screw top. So we're gonna try the Sierra Blanca, which is from Guadalupe, and it's a little cheaper. It's only about $14 American, so let's try it. All right, well, we got wine and Golden Grams, and then I got in trouble for filming in there, so I had to turn it off. Oh well, we'll head back up to the room and drop this stuff off, I guess. It's time for lunch now, so I'm here in the mall food court. And if it seems like I eat a lot, I do. We'll work on the exercise thing in 2021. There's a lot of places here like KFC, McDonald's, some Italian places. Yeah, I'm skipping those because I want to know what mall tacos are like. So I found two places here. La Peria, which I've seen in Playa del Carmen and elsewhere, and also Taco Grill. So we're gonna try both their tacos and see which one's better. I got an order of three tacos at La Perea for 20 pesos each, or a dollar each. I got an order of four at Taco Grill because that's how they came for 75 pesos, or about the same price each. We're gonna see which ones are better. All right, so the first ones here from La Perea are more of a traditional style pastor tacos. They have the onions and cilantro and the pineapple right on them. I put on a little sauce that they give you on the side, the red or the green. Actually, not bad. The ones at Taco Grill, however, are a little more build your own style. Where you get the tortilla with the meat, and then you put on the toppings and salsa of your choice. All right, they even give you a little cabbage with these, so I'm gonna try some of that on it. No pineapple, which is a little different. And they only single layer the tortilla, whereas La Perea gives you two, and most taquerias will give you two as well. So still not bad. I do like being able to add the amounts that you like. All right, so the verdict in the battle between La Perea and Taco Grill in the eyes of a gringo is actually somewhat split. I definitely like the tacos and the pineapple and the more typical style from La Perea, but I actually like the two salsas, both the red and the green, and the green has some kick at Taco Grill. 
So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to eat the rest of the tacos from La Perilla, but put the salsa on from Taco Girl. All right, so we'll call it an afternoon, and that's Mall Tacos in Cancun, Mexico. And then it's time to come up to the roof and open the bottle of wine and have it with a nice, fresh ceviche tostada. Okay, so since most of the restaurants here in the mall are chains that I can get back in the U.S., like Johnny Rockets, Chili's, and the Olive Garden, which, shout out to the Olive Garden, I used to work at one for a hot minute or, or two. Um, I decided to try a smaller Mexican chain called Don Carbone. And like most places down here, they give you chips and salsa with your drinks. And then I got the pork sandwich known as the torta for dinner. I'm Stu from my hotel in a mall. See ya.